For most women, HRT will be the most effective way of managing symptoms of their menopause, but it also has benefits in terms of some of the long-term health consequences of the menopause as well. So we know that it can help reduce the risk of heart disease and heart disease related deaths and osteoporosis and fractures related to osteoporosis. It's really interesting, the Women's Health Initiative study also shows that women on HRT had a lower risk of bowel cancer and it can marginally help in terms of control of type 2 diabetes and it can help maintain muscle strength. The risks of taking HRT are really small and for the vast majority of women, the benefits will by far outweigh any small risks, I think is the first really important thing to say. So if you swallow estrogen, there is a very small risk of blood clots, for example, on legs, lungs or stroke. But for most women with no other risk factors, this means that your very small risk is increased to a slightly higher low risk. Many women are anxious about the risk of breast cancer, understandably, but in reality, the risk of breast cancer as a result of taking HRT is really small. And so lifestyle factors are more important. So for example, the risk of breast cancer is greater if you're obese with a body mass index of around 30 or more. The risk of breast cancer is actually greater than taking HRT if you drink two units of alcohol a day or more. And if we think what that means in reality, it's a decent glass of wine, it's a double gin and tonic, it's a pint of beer, so really not huge quantities. Subsequent studies have shown that if you take body identical hormones, so that is the estradiol estrogen in most of the different types of HRT that we prescribe, it's the body identical progesterone, the risk of breast cancer is actually minimal over a five year period for women in their 50s. So I think that's a really important part to pull out as well. There are other really small risks that aren't so widely spoken about. So for example, the risk of gallbladder disease can increase if you're taking HRT. There are studies showing a really small increased risk of ovarian cancer that equates to much smaller numbers than the risk of breast cancer. It's not to write off this risk, but it's just really important to know that it's more of an association rather than a causal risk and there's no increased risk of dying from ovarian cancer that's ever been proven. So although the word cancer causes anxiety, in reality, this is a very small risk. The reason it's so important to take a progestogen alongside your estrogen, if you haven't had a hysterectomy, you still have a womb, is that it prevents cancer of the womb lining. So if you take estrogen by itself and you have a womb, it can thicken the womb lining, increasing your risk significantly of cancer of the womb. If you take the progestogen alongside that, it wipes out that risk. The most common side effects of HRT um, are present usually when you first start it, and they usually settle with time, is the first really important thing to say. The most common side effects are headache, bloating, um, many women experience breast tenderness, um, you might feel a little bit sick when you start taking HRT um, and feel a bit just a bit discombobulated, a bit not quite yourself as it all settles into your system.